Hey minions, it's me, Satan, your lord and master. I'm gonna take over the narration of this chapter from Looney Tunes, because I just love this story so, so much. It's one of my favorites in the whole Bible. So, there was this king named Balak or, or Balak or something, and he was the king of Moab. You minions remember the Moabites, right? Lothead drunk sexy time in a cave with his two daughters and the kids with the Moabites and the Ammonites. You know, future enemies of the Israelites. Anyway, Balak or Balak was a distant cousin of the Israelites since sister marrying Abraham and drunk sexy time with his daughters in a cave having Lot were cousins or something. Balak heard all about the Israelites killing King Og the Giant and King Sihon last chapter, remember? So King Balak was all worried that these crazy people Looney Tunes were leading all over the desert were gunning for him next and were coming after all his flocks and herds and women and food and stuff. So he called this dude named Balaam, or Balaam, however you pronounce his name, to come and put a curse on those Israelites and Looney Tunes. Because apparently, this dude Balaam had a reputation for curses or something. A bunch of his friends and co-workers on LinkedIn had endorsed him, I guess. So he came highly recommended. So G-Man appeared before Balaam and said, Hey dude, those Israelites are my chosen people, even though they have some pretty short memories and seem to be pretty stupid. And I just wanted to kill them a bunch of times because of how whiny they are about food and water and stuff like that. Plus, I gotta keep listening to Looney Tunes complaining about them again and again. And he has a pretty annoying voice, and he's a fawning bootlicker. Despite all that, they're still my chosen people, and yeah, I can't let you curse them. So Balaam sent people back to the Moabite King Balak and said, Sorry dude, G-Man says I can't curse him. So Balak and Balaam sent the Pony Express back and forth and Balak offered Balaam a lot of money to curse the Israelites and Balaam finally had to go see Balak in person. So Balaam got on his donkey, but I guess G-Man was pretty mad at Balaam at this point for some reason. As I've said before, God's a drama queen sometimes. So an angel of the Lord appeared on the road. And only the donkey could see the angel, though. Guess what angel it was? Yup, it was Hasatan again. I hate that guy. The donkey kept turning away from Hasatan, and Balaam would beat that poor donkey. So one time, Hasatan appeared before Balaam's donkey. The donkey tried to turn off the road again, but there was a wall there, and he crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. Well, Balaam beat that donkey again, and the donkey suddenly got the power of anthropomorphism, and it turned around and talked to Balaam. Balaam, why are you beating me? I have always been a good donkey to you, and yet you beat me now these three times. And Balaam didn't even bat an eyelash that the donkey suddenly got the power of anthropomorphism, and he talked back to that donkey. Balaam must have encountered talking donkeys all the time. Maybe he read that story about a talking snake that was totally not me who convinced those first people he'd a peat of fruit that they weren't supposed to eat and just assumed, eh, all animals can talk. Talking snakes, man. Talking donkeys. Totally believable. So Balaam said, If I had a sword right now, I would kill you, you stupid talking donkey. But just then, Hasatan appeared to Balaam, as well as the donkey. Balaam, why dost thou beat thy donkey? God himself is wroth with thee for making this journey to the king of the Moabites. If it had not been for thy donkey seeing me, I would have eventually killed thee. And Balaam was all like, Dude, why didn't you just appear before me in the first place? Why this whole game of only appearing to a pack animal that doesn't talk and then suddenly gets the power of anthropomorphism? If this donkey could talk the whole time, why didn't it just turn around and tell me there was an angel of the Lord with a big sword standing in our path? I mean... Talking donkeys one thing, but invisible angels with swords that only donkeys could see? That's like invisible pink unicorn stuff right there. Why you gotta make this so hard? Well, that's it for the day, minions. I'm gonna leave you with this song. Are you ready, kitties? One, two, three, here we go. This dude named Balaam had an ass. E-I-E-I-O. An invisible angel forced the ass in the grass. E-I-E-I-O. Balaam beat him here and he whipped him there. 
Here smack their whip everywhere, smack whip, then the donkey cried for mercy, E-I-E-I-O. Yup, that's right, a donkey talked, E-I-E-I-O. Then the angel appeared and filled Balaam with fear, and said a talking ass saved you from my wrath, this dude named Balaam had an ass, E-I-E-I-O.